The Ikuturso is an evil sea monster from Finnish mythology. He's basically Finland's Loch Ness monster, only a lot more badass. According to literature, the Ikuturso is responsible for the spread of disease, and he's essentially the god of death. The Ikuturso is just a legend, but what if he wasn't? What if he really was lurking at the bottom of the Baltic Sea somewhere, and if he was disturbed, he would wreak havoc on the world? Let's imagine what would happen right now on Life's Biggest Questions. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that imagines the impossible. I'm your host, Charlotte Dobray, and if you love a good sea monster story, hit that thumbs up button. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more of Life's Biggest Answers. In the Second World War, one of the submarines that was used by Finland was named after the Ikutorso. There are many different descriptions of the Ikutorso monster, all of them describing him differently. Some of the accounts describe him as being a giant octopus with long tentacles and suckers. Other accounts say he has a thousand heads. One thing is for certain, he's a very important figure in Finnish literature. His habitat is the Baltic Sea and large lakes, and if you disturb him, he becomes very angry and aggressive. Most of the accounts of him seem to suggest that he is the embodiment of all evil. Alright, so first things first, if the Ikuturso was real, all of the countries surrounding its habitat, the Baltic Sea, would have quite a bit to worry about, wouldn't they? Finland, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, Sweden, Denmark, Poland, and Germany all surround the Baltic Sea. Viking history would be extremely different if the Ikuturso turned out to be real. Kattegat, once a major Viking settlement, lies right at the mouth of the Baltic Sea. The Vikings would travel from Kattegat to surrounding areas, raiding villages and towns. And it's not just the Vikings. There were many pagan tribes during the Iron Age that would engage in maritime warfare and raiding. There was a lot of fighting among these tribes, and most of them traveled around the Baltic Sea using long boats. As it stands right now, the Ikutorso's character is somewhat static. Mentions of him vary in description. If the Ikutorso was real, he would be thought of as a god, and we would see a lot more mentions of him. There would be evidence of temples and art, poems, songs and stories. These pagans were passionate about their religions. Imagine how passionate they would be if one of their gods, the Ikutorso, turned out to be real. Each tribe would have a high priest or priestess, given the task of determining Ikutorso's temperament. Maybe these high priests and priestesses would decide ways to keep Ikutorso happy so tribes could travel safely. Maybe with sacrifices, with offerings or songs. Pagan fashion and manner of dress would resemble how the Ikutorso looked. And trust me, it wouldn't be cute. We'd see Norsemen sporting weird beards adorned with tentacles, women wearing elaborate tentacle adorned gowns. It would even be said that maybe Maybe many of these tribes wouldn't have existed at all if the Ikutorso turned out to be real. Seeing as their culture heavily revolves around the sea, and being able to travel around the sea in boats, this would not make the Ikutorso very happy. He would likely become irritated by the wars and raids going on on the surface of the sea, so he would rise up and smite entire tribes and settlements with diseases, killing them off. Either that or these cultures would not have evolved to be maritime cultures at all. They would stay on land to keep the Ikutorso at bay. Travel would be done on foot, rather than by boat. It could mean that the entire history of the Vikings would be different different, or they would go around raiding areas of Europe that were far away from the Ikutorso. And let's think about what would happen in the 20th century if the Ikutorso turned out to be real. The 20th century, with both its loud world wars, would have made him extremely upset. He would rise up from the depths to plague all of Europe with a devastating disease, wiping out nearly everyone. If the Ikutorso turned out to be real, perhaps the world's nations would try to band together to destroy it. Navies would flock to the Baltic Sea in their submarines, searching the depths for the Ikutorso. Who knows, maybe with modern weapons, they would be able to destroy him, especially if he were real and not a supernatural being. Well, there you have it. That is what I think would happen if the Ikutorso was real. What do you think would happen? Let me know in those comments. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out our playlist, Biggest What Ifs, clickable on the screen right now. As always, make sure notifications are turned on by clicking the bell, and we will see you in a future episode of Life's Biggest Questions.